Hey, welcome to our online dance lessons. This is my partner, Amanda. My name is Anderson Moore. Here I'm going to teach you about the cha-cha-cha. Now here we have some, uh, some interesting ideas or some things that people say you must do or you mustn't do. I'm going to avoid all that and just point out to you that the only thing that must happen with cha-cha is the break or the rock step, however you want to refer to it, must happen on beats two and three. So if we're like so, and I begin with a forward break going rock, step, that's all fine and well, but that break has to happen musically on two, three. So our music's going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if I go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Let's say I start like this. Four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three. Or let's say I start like this. One, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three. So right away, I've shown you three different ways that you could begin dancing the cha-cha, and all three are correct. The only qualifying factor is that, A, my breaks, my rock steps, happen always on beats two and on beats three. The second qualifying thing is that I have to get in sync with my partner. So I take my partner in the hole. Now my partner can tell right away that my weight is on my right leg and steady. So she has to be on her left leg and steady. All she knows now is that her next step has to be with the right. So whether it's going to go two, three, or whether it's going to go one, two, three, or whether it's going to go, say, four and one, two, three, is all up to me. Ideally, it doesn't matter as long as again again as long as I can convey it to my partner that's all that matters so with the rock step excuse me with the cha-cha we're using a simple sequence of triples and rocks musically this is the key or this is where most people make their biggest pitfall is they count it rock step cha-cha-cha rock step cha-cha-cha some people will count left right left right right however you count that's up to you as long as you are making the break happen on two, three, it doesn't matter. So if I count it, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, that would equate to rock being two, step being three, cha-cha being four and, cha-cha, four and, and then cha being the one. And then we repeat, two, three is rock step, then cha-cha is four and, and then cha is one. Now, if you do count it as cha-cha-cha, think of it as spelling it like C-H-C-H-C-H-A. Reason for this is that cha-cha was an and or a syncopated action. Anytime you create the syncopation, the syncopation cuts the prior beat in half. So C-H-C-H referred to two half beats. And then C-H-A referred to one whole beat. So I see lots of times people, if I show you from this point of view, I see lots of times people, they go rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Like all three actions are equal, and they're not. Hopefully from this point of view, you'll see rock, step, Cha-cha-cha, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step, cha-cha-cha. We turn around and show you from this point of view, same exact step, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step, cha-cha-cha, rock, step, Cha, cha, cha. Super. Now, this is what we refer to as a cha, cha box. 
considered a box because the cha-cha-cha part was moving laterally. It can also dance the exact same steps in a progressive basic, which just means that the cha-cha-cha moves forward and back. That would look like this. Rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Rock, step. Now, obviously, you don't want to just do one by itself. The whole objective is to mix and mingle the two ideas. You could do half of one and half of the other. Typically, you're going to use the progressive to set up things like the chase, cross-body leads, other variations as a way to transfer from step one to step two. But not to lose track of the focal point here, which was the rhythm. Breaks are on two, three. Cha-cha-cha happens on four and one. A half-beated step cannot be the same size as a whole beaded step. That's where the cha-cha-cha part came in. Two smaller steps, one larger step. This is the basic ideas for the cha-cha. Hope it helps. All it takes is some practice.